Hello Librans! Very welcome to your December 2021 general reading. So what we will do this very month, Christmas month, yay, we're gonna loosely um, divide the video by topics and what we're gonna do is we will firstly look at the overall energy for the month of December for the star sign of Libra and then we will have a look at the um, so after we had a look at the overall energy we will be looking at your emotional core which is basically um, also your emotional turmoil so that means that the guides will either talk to you about maybe trauma that sits there that is now ready to go um, or maybe they talk to you about love or maybe they will combine that Yay! Before we then, lastly, move to the third area, which will be opportunities. And these, this area is usually about what sustains you financially, hey Mark, what sustains you financially, um, or what opportunities coming in with regards to um, work or, hey Mark, oh, sorry, my cat is here. <laughs> um, so the last area will be about um, opportunities with uh, regards to whatever it is that sustains you, if that makes sense, right? So, can't believe it's the last month of the year. <laughs> Are you ready, Librans? Let's do it. Let's have a look at the overall energy for the month of December for the star sign of Libra. This is a general reading, which means it may not um, resonate with all of you, but let's just have a look. Right, for the overall energy, for the month of December 2021, you got the wolf and the cow. So, what the wolf is telling you, as your incoming energy, if that makes sense, is that in December, you ought to look at two things. Number one, your pack. Are you happy with the way things work with regards to the people you live with, right? That's uh, one thing. Or are you a lone wolf who is yet, who has yet to lead a pack? This is about reflection. Um, and what aids it is literally the fact that, that Christmas, um, energetically speaking, everything is about families having these mega parties and all the relatives show up. <laughs> Sounds horrific. Um, anyway, <laughs> because of the energy and family life being highlighted for some of you Librans, it may actually trigger the feeling of extra loneliness should you be a person that doesn't have anyone or if you feel like with the people I live with, it's actually not that much fun celebrating uh, Christmas. <coughs> Excuse me. So they're asking you to look at this. I still want to ask them for clarification with regards to what it is you actually um, they actually really want you to do with regards to um, assessing who you live with. And you have the hunter of path and the dancer of friendship. The hunter of path can't pronounce it path. <laughs> th ths are not so easy for my little German mind. Anyway, you have the hunter of path. So this is really about looking at what works and what isn't and what doesn't um, so that you can eventually, well, eventually would be now because we, you know, whenever with animal guides, we're always in the now. It's about time you reflected on it and maybe you want to follow a different path if your pack works very well and you have the hunter of past and maybe it is time to um, bring this to another level if that makes sense but ultimately reflect on your unit the people you live with the people you are very close to or maybe you are one of those people who are in the in the middle who is in the midst of um, making major changes nonetheless the main message for your overall energy for the month of December, for the star sign of Libra, is to reflect on how well the the pack uh, works. Because you have the dancer of friendship, 
which means, and again, this is all really about relationship here. Um, the tensor of friendship means, have things become stale? Is it maybe that you feel we make better friends than a couple? If that makes sense. So have a look at how how you really feel with regards to the pack, if that makes sense, because we were talking about the wolf uh, giving you the message here. Um, really, this is quite deep, for uh, if that makes sense. Um, but for Librans, you are quite deep. And remember, you're represented by the scale. So when things are not even, you are not functioning so well anyway. So this is about putting things right. Okay? The... Outgoing energy for the over energy is, is, the, is the cow. And the cow is what we call the Übermother. And what that means to you Librans is literally self-nurturing. The reason why they ask you to reflect is to see how happy you truly are and reflect on your true happiness. Um, because the thing with Libra is um, that if you are in a relationship, you become super caring um, and it could be mistaken for love because you, the things you do out of love, right? <laughs> um, ultimately, what I'm getting is um, for the for December, this being quite a strong month with an emphasis on, on festivities and, and love and spirituality, um, really important for you to self-nurture yourself. Okie dokie, that was your overall energy. You are watching Energy and Star Sign readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. Really, really important. And now we're moving into the next area, which is your emotions. Um, let's see what they got in, in many ways. Um, as you just noticed with regards to the overall energy, there is quite a lot of stuff about your emotions in it already because even though we, we separate the video loosely into three areas um, you can't really separate it all that well if that makes sense so let's have a look what you got with regards to your emotions okay again it's sort of con it's a continuation um, of the overall energy with regards to self-nurturing and and having a look where you are because the animals that you have is the domesticated cat you have birds plural and you have the insect my feeling is that i'm repeating myself here a little but um i don't choose what the guides give me with regards to your emotions i have to say the way um, i feel it i do not feel that this is about the librans that watch this that have just or that are just looking to start a relationship, if that makes sense, because there isn't much here um, that would give you an inclination um, sort of about how to go about a new relationship. This is really all what you would bring into the relationship and what you already possess, if that makes sense, and have a look. Because you have the domestic cat, that's your incoming energy, for your emotions for the month of December 2021. And what the domesticated cat is really about is for you to realize if it's not for me, right, <laughs> then I walk away. So domesticated cats do not run away, walk away, but if for whatever reason things are not quite the way they want it to be, they just remove themselves. They're very, very, very um, individual, individualistic, and um, we actually love it about them, don't we? We love it about them that they kind of go like, yeah, I just want, I just want food and I cuddle when I want, not when you want. Everything has to be on their term. Therefore, with regards to your emotions, everything has to be on your term. Um, you have the birds, and birds plural, literally means for you. Again, we talked about this in the over energy, is to elevate yourself. See things from a higher point of view and look at your emotional core. How do you really feel? What is it that stops me from moving forward? Because that's partly here um, the energy of the birds. So what the guides are asking you to look at, Librans, is also all the things you've 
been through um, so that you can literally let stuff go because that's what the birds are highlighting and here is another your alkaline energy quite interesting animal guide which are the insects so there you go the insects is your outgoing energy and what the insects are telling you with regards to whether or not you let trauma go whether or not you actually look at it and let it go everything has to do with your self-esteem if you don't think you're worth it then you will not attract people who make you feel as if you are the best things in sliced bread because you're not asking for it so the insect is basically the guy that tells us without me nothing grows but it's not an ego statement it just is so insects are very very important with regards to um you know uh, the, the way everything works on this planet if the insects don't work nothing can grow nothing can flourish it starts with the dung beetle rolling shit uphill <laughs> you know um and then the bees and all that kind of things um ultimately what they're saying is you are valuable and you are a hard worker but there has to be an exchange with everything you do and my feeling is because we're talking about your emotional core we're not talking about love coming in so they're asking you or they're not asking you let's put it this way this is not so much about relationships you're in and reflecting on them really this is more about feeling where am i in all of this and am i the person that doesn't push myself to let stuff go that ultimately is painful makes me not uh, makes me distrustful if that makes sense so it is on you Librans, in december to um really assess how you're feeling and attempt to let um things go that aren't working right so that was that now we're going into the final area of your reading which is opportunities let's see what the guides have for you with regards to um, opportunities coming in for you to move forward and it doesn't look promising <laughs> because you have the shaman of sorrows the dancer of frustration and the shaman of loss let me repeat this for you the shaman of sorrows the dancer of frustration and the shaman of loss yes it is as bad as it sounds with opportunities what the guides are saying to you is if if and when you feel i want things to be different especially with regards to um making a living surviving things and the feeling that i'm getting because you have the shaman of sorrows is that that the energy of other people might in inverted brackets not allow you to actually really shine and that's something that really ought to change because the shaman of sorrows really means as the incoming energy for your opportunities that you're already affected by low energy right again it's a general reading and sometimes it sounds much harsher then they mean it in combination with a strong german accent and in your face accent um right don't read it wrong but when they give you the shaman of sorrows what they're asking you again this is all about reflecting for libras right you are the scales make sure the scales are even it is super super important that you deal with the things that that somehow hold you back also have the feeling that you are either holding yourself back or being held back by situations because the feeling is uh, because you have the dancer of frustration here as your middle energy and the one in the middle is always the most important because it's surrounded by the other two um so your feeling of i'm not getting anywhere doesn't help henry ford once said whether you believe you can or whether you believe you can't you're right so it is really about how much you want things to change and how much you still believe that it is that things are possible for you to get better so again reflect on your frustration levels 
because remember you know energy is like a mirror you you attract on your energy and if your energy is low it is very difficult for the universe to get you out of that right your outgoing energy is the shaman of loss what that means sounds sounds horrible but this is about opportunities so this is not about emotions this is in the area of opportunities and the shaman of loss means that what doesn't work well at this point in time for you Libras is to see like well maybe I can be I can have one foot in that job and then slowly transition over to another one doesn't work you have the shaman of loss and while this is a harsh term it literally means you have to or to because you have free will but the the the, the way I get this strongly is that you have to put things to rest the things that are not working have to come to an end so that you actually are 100% maybe 150% with the new things my feeling is that the best way and this really only appeals to people that are not just watching videos but are also themselves doing journeys and meditations if you're not a person that does that yet i would strongly recommend you start Uh, doing um, meditations and journeys and and converse with your guides so you get a lot of help and a lot of messages actually because you do just that it is much harder if you're a person that says okay i'm watching these videos and there's tons of them out there so you might watch this video for libran and then be libra and then go to five other readers which is actually not a bad idea but you will notice because everybody works with spirit and we're all getting things differently and work with different guides you might get a multitude multitude of of messages but it is what you make with it always watch how does this relate to me how do i feel about it even if you don't like the message does this resonate trust your intuition trust the vibrations you're getting when the guides say things really really important all i'm getting is that it is much harder for you leapens who understand that you're deep and spiritual but yet hang back that's another thing that needs to come to an end it's this hanging back be active be proactive because that is the best way to kickstart manifestation and to show the universe that you're still here and that you want things to happen right so quite a bit of a um, strong energy and also sort of strong words for you leaprins but remember um if we're all just being very nice that doesn't necessarily prompt people to make changes and you are really asked to understand if you want new opportunities and, my, and to a certain extent new beginnings to come to you you have to begin kicking ass Okie dokie. Anyway, Merry Christmas and I see you all in the new year. I better see you all in the new year. So please subscribe, like and share the crap out of the video because if this resonates with you, who knows? It might re re resonate with another Libran. And if you say like, "Oh, I don't know any Libans." What do you know? How do you know? Please, please, please. This is a monthly video, so share it numerous times during the month so we can grow the channel and more people can be reached. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye.